In 2025, the skies will never be the same. The State Route 72 Dark Star, once thought to be a futuristic dream, is now a reality. Built in secret by the U.S. Air Force and top aerospace engineers, this hypersonic jet isn't just another aircraft. It's a game-changer in speed, stealth, and warfare. What new capabilities will it bring to military operations? How will it redefine aerial defense and offense? Join us as we uncover the real State Route 72 Dark Star, now ready for deployment. When the State Route 71 Blackbird was retired in 1998, the U.S. Air Force lost its top intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance aircraft. They needed something even more advanced to take its place. Enter the State Route 72, often called the Son of the Blackbird. Rumors about its development surfaced in 2007, with reports suggesting Lockheed Martin was working on an aircraft capable of exceeding Mach 6, over 6,400 kilometers per hour, more than twice the speed of its predecessor. Despite the speculation, official details remained scarce. Leaked concept art and scattered reports hinted at its existence, but the Air Force remained tight-lipped. In 2013, a shocking report claimed the U.S. had decided not to fund the State Route 72 program, leaving many wondering if a prototype was ever greenlit. This aircraft could revolutionize aviation, much like stealth technology changed modern warfare. Its propulsion system is unlike anything before, combining multiple jet engines into one advanced design. Experts like Leland explain that it starts with a turbofan engine, similar to those in fighter jets. Once it reaches Mach 3, a dual-mode ramjet takes over, using the aircraft's speed to compress air and generate massive thrust. This technology could push the State Route 72 beyond Mach 6, leaving the legendary SR-71's Mach 3.2 in the dust. The engine, developed by Aerojet Rocketdyne, is a turbine-based combined cycle system, cutting-edge tech designed to propel the aircraft at hypersonic speeds. Lockheed Martin originally envisioned the State Route 72 for surveillance and reconnaissance, but it was also built to strike enemy targets. By 2015, Lockheed Martin planned for the State Route 72 to handle both spying and combat missions. However, designing weapons and sensors for an aircraft moving faster than any jet and flying at 80,000 feet posed a massive challenge. Traditional systems wouldn't work at these extreme speeds and altitudes. To make the State Route 72 truly effective, engineers needed to develop entirely new technology. The State Route 72 was built to shatter aviation limits, outrunning missiles, and soaring above most satellites. But for it to fulfill its mission, everything from its weapons to its surveillance systems must be completely reimagined. Leland described the new hypersonic aircraft as a true game-changer. While it could launch hypersonic missiles, it's more likely to carry cheaper weapons designed for extreme speeds. The U.S. is developing cutting-edge hypersonic missiles, but they're costly due to the intense pressure and heat at such speeds, making weapon deployment tricky. Lockheed Martin proved this concept with the YF-12, a combat version of the State Route 71 Blackbird, which fired air-to-air -air missiles at over Mach 3. Now, the State Route 72, or Son of Blackbird, is pushing boundaries even further. Expected to reach Mach 6, it could cross continents in hours. But its real advantage isn't just speed. It's its ability to rapidly gather intelligence anywhere on Earth. This is crucial especially in vast regions like the Pacific, where conflicts could span thousands of miles. Satellites aren't enough for global surveillance since they're predictable, allowing adversaries to hide sensitive activities. That's why spy planes remain essential. Drones like the MQ, one predator revolutionized surveillance, and secretive models like the RQ, 180 now operate stealthily at high altitudes. Despite major investments, most spy planes still fly at subsonic speeds, limiting how fast they can deliver critical intelligence. For example, the MQ-9 Reaper, which can stay airborne for over 24 hours, only cruises at 230 miles per hour. That means a flight from New York to Boston takes over an hour, and a coast-to-coast -coast trip would take more than 10 hours. Far from fast when time is critical. Now imagine a Mach 6 aircraft. It could get from New York to Boston in under 5 minutes or coast to coast in just 30. Rob Weiss, Executive VP of Skunk Works, 
revealed a major breakthrough. Lockheed successfully tested a turbine-based hypersonic engine for the State Route 72. A test model, similar in size to the F-22 Raptor, was designed to take off like a regular jet, accelerate to supersonic speeds, then switch to a scramjet engine to reach over Mach 6, more than 4,500 miles per hour. By September 2017, rumors swirled that the State Route 72 had already been spotted over Palmdale, California. In early 2018, Lockheed's VP of Strategy, Jack O'Banion, confirmed it was airborne, praising its agility and engine performance at hypersonic speeds. As testing progressed, global attention grew. Around the same time, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced new missile systems exceeding Mach 5. Then, after Lockheed's major announcement, all references to the State Route 72 vanished from its website. Executives went silent, as if the project had never existed. Behind closed doors, however, work continued. In Q2 2022, Lockheed reported a staggering $225 million loss on a top-secret aeronautics project. But just three months later, contract terms changed, sparing the company from absorbing all costs. Even with the shift, losses still climbed to $335 million, hinting at the massive stakes behind the State Route 72. The sudden budget spike suggests this project is far bigger than expected, likely a top-secret development for the U.S. Air Force. It's no small endeavor. The project has likely moved from early-stage development to full-scale production, a major leap forward. A key sign is the construction of a new production facility at Lockheed Martin's legendary Skunk Works headquarters in Palmdale, California. Known as Building 648, this facility was completed in August 2021 and has already hired a wave of workers for an undisclosed manufacturing effort. Lockheed Martin's massive 215,000-square-foot Intelligent Flexible Factory is revolutionizing manufacturing. Designed to cut costs and streamline production, it integrates advanced AI, augmented reality, and robotic systems like Cobra's combined operation bolting and robotic auto drill. These high-tech machines automate some of the toughest assembly tasks. When Skunk Works first introduced these robots, they were building the X, 59 Quiet Supersonic Transport Quest, a jet designed to reduce sonic booms. But Skunk Works isn't just about one-off projects. Behind the scenes, much bigger things are in motion. From 2018, when news of the State Route 72 suddenly went quiet, through 2023, Lockheed Martin expanded rapidly. Their advanced development programs grew by 75%, adding over 2,300 new employees. They're gearing up for something huge. Skunk Works has hinted at small-scale production already underway. In 2022, General Manager John Clark confirmed they had entered the low-rate production phase, though security restrictions kept details under wraps. Palmdale has long been a hub for aviation breakthroughs, and it's clear that something groundbreaking is happening there. Famous for quickly producing experimental aircraft, Skunk Works doesn't just test concepts, it builds icons. Their legendary creations include the State Route 71 Blackbird, once the world's fastest jet, and the stealthy F-117 Nighthawk. These weren't just prototypes, they reshaped aviation history. Clark emphasized that Skunk Works isn't just about experimental planes. They develop cutting-edge aircraft that combine innovation with real-world functionality, a strategy that keeps them ahead in aerospace. One of their most intriguing projects is the rumored State Route 72 often called the son of the blackbird. Once thought to be just speculation, mounting evidence suggests it's real. Some have referred to it as Dark Star. Though that name isn't official, military aircraft often earn their names based on history and function, like the F-15 Eagle, named for its power and speed. Until an official name is given, speculation about the SR-72's capabilities only grows. The name Dark Star gained traction after appearing in Top Gun. Maverick is a fictional hypersonic jet. Lockheed Martin helped design the movie's realistic jet model, measuring 69.5 feet long with a 5.5-foot wingspan. While special effects handled the flight sequences, the cockpit controls were based on real prototypes, adding authenticity. Though the Top Gun Dark Star was fictional, Lockheed Martin has been working on a true successor to the State Route 71 Blackbird, since 1998, 
the challenge, building an aircraft even faster than its legendary predecessor, a task that remains one of aviation's greatest hurdles. As part of the DARPA Falcon project, Lockheed Martin Skunk Works developed the hypersonic technology vehicle 2, HDV-2, a rocket-launched aircraft designed to reach extreme speeds. Its test flights in 2010 and 2011 hit Mach 20, 20,900 kilometers per hour, generating crucial data for future hypersonic aircraft like the State Route 72. The State Route 72, an unmanned hypersonic reconnaissance aircraft, is designed to exceed Mach 6, capable of crossing the U.S. in under 12 minutes. It offers unmatched speed and stealth. If equipped with hypersonic missiles, it could strike any target globally within an hour. Its cutting-edge ramjet and scramjet engines enable sustained hypersonic flight, overcoming traditional engine limitations. Built from advanced heat-resistant carbon composites, the State Route 72 withstands extreme temperatures, expected to fly by 2025 and be fully operational by 2030. It represents the next leap in military aviation. Meanwhile, the U.S. military's sixth-generation fighter jet, the NGAD, is set to surpass even the F-22 and F-35, featuring advanced stealth, AI integration, and state-of-the-art electronic warfare. It will dominate future battlefields. With twin engines for greater power and efficiency, it will carry advanced weaponry and operate seamlessly with other systems. Despite its expected multi-million dollar price tag, the NGAD promises unparalleled air superiority. Its revolutionary engines, slated for completion by 2025, will redefine military aviation, ensuring U.S. dominance in the skies. Don't forget to subscribe to Digital Era for more fascinating and informative content. Thanks for watching.